Uh, my name is Alan Griffey. I work at U-Haul International. I do research and development on trailers. This is a 1987 Toyota Corolla GTS, and uh, I've actually only driven this for the past couple months, though I've owned it for over a year and a half. I only considered myself to be uh, an aggressive driver when the uh, situation calls for it. Pretty much any time it's raining and there's nobody around. My favorite thing about this car is the way it handles. I can toss this thing around. I like to drive it sideways. I guess what's the most outrageous thing you've done in this car so far? Uh, donuts for about two minutes straight. 1600 cc, 4 AG engine, 115 horsepower, four wheel disc brakes, and a limited slip differential. Better back exhaust, custom 15 inch wheels, and full aftermarket suspension. Pop up headlights, classic 80s retro styling. Actually, the car is so ridiculously clean, like, I was really surprised when I first saw it, like, how, how clean this, you know, 20 year old car could be. Yeah, considering most uh, A86 owners have their interior gutted, to have one that's completely intact is pretty impressive. The, the reason why I really like this car is because it's got sharp angles right here, and it's offset by circles everywhere, all the way down, and it's very symmetrical. It takes sharp turns. I love it. It just great road response. Just feel everything. Uh, those sway bars just really kick in. They uh, get rid of just about all body roll. I barely feel it. I wish it could accelerate more. I wish it had a little bit more power. I think the car would be a lot funner to drive. This thing is a dog. I mean, it, it, you really got to have it in the high RPMs to get it get it moving. It's high RPM, it's all right, but it's that's the only place it's got any power. I like the brakes. This brakes nice. It brakes tight, but uh, the feedback's really low. And uh, I'd like to know a little bit more what's going on when I'm braking. Firm brake pedal. It's great. It stops on a dime. I really like the exhaust note. It's got a nice high performance feel. Um, a little revvy, but it's not it's not terribly ricery. Definitely check out that exhaust note. It's almost more fun to drive than my 240SX. I hate to say it, but I just like the fact that you can throw this thing around. It's, it's incredibly light, very responsive in the steering. Gadget person, I really like all the little gadgets around here. I like, I like this, like the fact you can adjust the lumbar. I like that you can adjust the seat holsters. I think that's just way ahead of its time. There's one thing I did want to point out while I'm in here. There is this, and I, you can't exactly. I'll show it to you in a second. There's, there is this weird little nobule down here. Like, you know, there's some really advanced features in this car that are very ahead of their time. Now this comes from the, the Reebok age of the pumps, and it's just a little a little kind of squeeze toy that you do, and it actually adjusts your lumbar support, and um, really just a bizarre little thing, and I can't imagine there's a ton of cars out there that had this. And there's also this lumbar support, or this uh, bolster, the seat bolster like tighteners. Now that I think is an awesome, just an awesome tool. All right, so I'm liking the car. I think it's really cool. Um, you know. It's, Handled really well. I'm digging it. How fast are you going on this road? Uh, about 62 miles per hour.